Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Eva. Today I want to talk to you all about going through your bin. You can't solve any problem without first acknowledging it. What are you throwing away? What areas of your home produce the most waste? What in particular are you throwing away? Are you sorting your rubbish? Are you recycling your rubbish in alignment with your local council's guidelines? Are you using a trash jar which is just making you feel deflated and like you're not doing enough? These are all questions we ask ourselves in the low waste movement. I really wouldn't recommend relying on a trash jar, but today I want to talk to you all about what to do with your rubbish and just how to kind of let go a little bit and not put so much pressure on yourself. So the first thing I want to talk to you about today is recycling. Now every council is different. What you can and can't put in your recycling changes depending on where you live. We must remember, however, that recycling is not a solution since there is just so much plastic in circulation. We really need to cut it out of the source and remember that so much of our recycling is actually shipped elsewhere in the world. Now, the most important part of recycling is knowing what your plastic is. You can tell this by the number on the bottom of the bottle or whatever you have. Numbers one and two are the most easy to recycle and are often bought up by companies to be melted into new plastics. Whereas three, four, five, and six, and seven, which is other plastics, tend to not be as easy to recycle because of the colour or the shape or just their properties don't make it as easy to recycle. So what about glass? Glass can be recycled in a closed loop. Only bottle glass, though. Crystal, windows, and car glass cannot be recycled because it is mixed with other materials. To recycle glass, first you need to separate it into its assorted colours. And then you need to remove labels, give it a really thorough clean, and smash the glass down. This increases its surface area and makes it easier to recycle. It's then melted down and remoulded into glass bottles. Recycling glass uses a lot less energy than making new glass, so it's a great alternative to choose things in glass bottles rather than in plastic. Aluminium is also a really great alternative. Its recycling process is much like glass and it can be recycled in a closed loop, so it doesn't require any new material to be added for it to maintain its properties. Plastic has to have new plastic added every single time it's recycled since the polymers weaken. And so it just requires more and more fossil fuels to recycle every single time. So try and choose tins, try and choose jars instead. And yeah. The next thing I want to talk to you about is compost. Compost is made by decomposing organic materials into simpler organic and inorganic compounds. Food waste is a huge issue in our society, so what better way to reduce it than to turn it into compost and feed it to plants and help regenerate our soils? If you have a garden, then you can compost at home in your garden. If not, you can do what we do and keep it in a container and our local council takes it away and composts it industrially, which can be used on the fields around where we live to grow our food. So composting and recycling are great options to avoid landfilling. We really don't want to be sending things to landfill where they just sit forever in an anaerobic environment and just release horrible gases and chemicals into our beautiful, beautiful earth. So that is what we're trying to avoid, of course. And I have so many videos here on my channel all about how to reduce your waste and how to live more sustainably. So definitely go and check them out. But if you do have waste, that's completely understandable. We live in a society where waste is completely normal. And why not try and turn some of your trash into treasure? So these earrings are something that I made. They're just old sushi bottles that I got from some vegan sushi that Tesco's was essentially throwing out it was so reduced it wasn't it was a joke um and I turn them into earrings and I just think they're super super symbolic so definitely try and turn your trash into treasure a great thing also is to save some of your recycling and waste to plant seeds so I'll be using my toilet rolls and old tins to be growing my seedlings this spring for my garden so that I can try and grow some of my own food so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how you try and reduce your waste and any more tips you have for dealing with your waste. Thank you so much for being here today. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day and stay kind.